in today's video i'm bringing you something new and different from now onwards to help prepare our children for competitive exams and aptitude tests of middle school level i'll be solving uh, question papers with the uh, mcqs after finishing all the topics of a particular chapter and uh, this will help us to start with an early edge when we ultimately sit for the competitive exams later on uh, starting from the ssc the railways the banking uh, upsc recruitment exams to entrance exams like uh, jwe mains and wt etc hi everyone i am shufia and you are on cracking maths with shufia so please lend me your support for this new segment of our channel where we sharpen our math skills and in our last video we have finished the chapter fractions and decimals so i'm going to start two videos on mcqs of that chapter so let's crack magical maths together to get over the fear of maths MCQ question number one: Which of the following are in descending order of their value? Here four options are given, and as I have stated in the video five of fractions and decimals, how to compare the fractions in an easy way by using cross multiplication method. Without using paper pen, we can do this in just a few seconds. Here we will use this method. So start. Counting the time. Descending means big to small. Now you see, first one is five ones are five, three twos are six, small big. Five ones are five, three twos are six, small big. Five ones are five, three twos are six, small big. Six six are thirty six, seven fives are thirty five. That means big small. Starting one is uh, descending, so that means there this one is the correct answer. So I am bubbling here in D. This one is the right answer. So I'm bubbling here. Of course, nowadays um, exams are mostly held online, so no physical bubbling is required. Still, I'm doing to show you if sometimes, in case, it's required. So this is the answer. So question number two: the value of this is equal to this. Here options are given. Now uh, here denominator we can write. You see, denominator is two cube into. 0.1 into 0.1 into 0.1 plus 2 cube into 0.02 into 0.02 into 0.02. So the answer will be uh, we can cut 0.01 this one so 1 by 2 cube into 0.1 into 0.1 into 0.1 plus. 0.02 into 0.02 into 0.02 and in the numerator here 0.1 into 0.1 into 0.1 plus 0.02 into 0.02 into 0.02 and we can cut these two and so our answer will be 1 by 2 cube is equal to 1 by 8 now we'll have to convert it into this uh, decimal 1 this one is 8.0 8 to answer 8 10 minus 8 2 8 to are here automatically 1 0 will come here so 8 to are 16 and this one is 4 again we'll get 1 0 extra 0 here so 8 5 sir 40 so our answer will be 0.125 that means b is the uh, correct answer so we'll have to bubble this answer b okay so question number 3 if 2994 divided by 14.5 is equal to 172 then 29.94 divided by 1.45 is equal to how much and uh, four options the so yate uh, 12, 2994 divided by 14.5 or value the asset so ami prathamate jitu uliyabo lagibo tar majhe 29.94 ok ami 2994 banai lobo lagibo aru tar karone ami ki koribo lagibo Yes, I mean to 100 and multiply Korilum. So, my Korea so to 29.94 into 100 are logote at the same time 1.45 into 100 Koribulagiba. I to Hoigol, Amar Uporo to Ahijabo 2994. But yate denominator of 14.5 diase. So, I mean to try Korin that 14.5 bonailum. 
এইটো সো এইটো ওয়ান পয়েন্ট ফোর ফাইভর আমি টেন মাল্টিপ্লাই করলে ফোরটিন পয়েন্ট ফাইভ আহি যাব সো মানে এই স্প্লিট করে আসো টেন ইন্টু টেন লিখে আসো এটা আমার উপর নিউমারেটার ইজ টু নাইন নাইন ফোর এন্ড ডিনমিনেটার বিকামস ফোরটিন পয়েন্ট ফাইভ ওয়ান পয়েন্ট ফোর ফাইভ ইন্টু টেন ইজ গোল টু ফোরটিন পয়েন্ট ফাইভ এন্ড উইল রাইট দিস ওয়ান বাই টেন আর নাও ইয়াতে আমি মানে এইটুর ভ্যালু পুট করে লম এই হল ওয়ান সেভেন্টি টু মানে ওয়ান সেভেন্টি টু ডিভাইডেড বাই হান্ড্রেড এন্ড দিস ইজ ইকুয়াল টু উই নো হাউ মাছ ওয়ান সেভেন্টিন পয়েন্ট টু আর এই কোন অপশন হয় ইয়েস এই হয় অপশন সি সো অপশন সি টু আমি বাবল করে লম এন্ড দিস ইজ দ্য রাইট আনসার সো কেশন নম্বর ফোর জিরো পয়েন্ট জিরো জিরো নাইন ডিভাইডেড বাই হাউ মাছ ইজ ইকুয়াল টু পয়েন্ট জিরো ওয়ান অপশনস আর গিভেন হিয়ার সো হেন সামথিং ইজ গিভেন টু ফাইন্ড আউট উইল থিঙ্ক অলওয়েজ ইট এজ এ ভ্যারিয়েবল ফর এক্সাম্পল আই এম থিঙ্কিং ইট এজ এক্স আই এম টেকিং ইট এক্স সো পয়েন্ট জিরো জিরো নাইন ডিভাইডেড বাই এক্স ইজ গোল টু পয়েন্ট জিরো ওয়ান বাই ক্রস মাল্টিপ্লিকেশন উই আর গেটিং এক্স ইজ গোল টু পয়েন্ট জিরো জিরো নাইন ডিভাইডেড বাই পয়েন্ট জিরো ওয়ান and here uh, after decimal point three uh, three digits are there so we'll write nine divided by this one and in the denominator one divided by hundred and this is equal to nine by one thousand into hundred by one so equal to nine by ten equal to point nine therefore our option c is the answer c will bubble this one so question number 5 0.04 into 0.0162 is uh, equal to options kita diya asi yate and yate akol whole numbers kita ami agote multiply kori lo 162 into 4 is equal to 4 to the 8 4 6 are 24 4 and 4 1 are 4 6 6 4 8 aru etia মানে লিখে আসো ইয়াতে ডিসিমেল প্লেসেস কেটে আছে ওয়ান টু থ্রি ফোর ফাইভ সিক্স সিক্স ডিসিমেল প্লেসেস আর দেয়ার তো আমি কি করি এইটোর আগতে জিরো লগাই আমি এইটো সিক্স বনাই লম সিক্স ফোর এইট ইয়াতে হবো আমার পয়েন্ট সো এইটো হল কিন্তু ইয়াতে কোয়েশ্চনত অপশনত ইয়াতে কি লিখা আছে সিক্স পয়েন্ট ফোর এইট সো এইটুক আমি কি লিখিম সিক্স ফোর এইট ডিভাইডেড বাই ওয়ান টু থ্রি ফোর ফাইভ সিক্স টেন টু দি পাওয়ার সিক্স লিখিব পো কিন্তু সিক্স পয়েন্ট ফোর এইট বনাবলে এইটুক আমি টেন স্কোয়ার ডিভাইড করি সো আমি এইটুক স্প্লিট করে আসো ডিভাইডেড বাই টেন স্কোয়ার ইন্টু টেন টু দি পাওয়ার ফোর দিস ইজ গোল টু সিক্স পয়েন্ট ফোর এইট ইন্টু টেন টু দি পাওয়ার মাইনাস ফোর সো সি ইজ দ্য অপশন আনসার অ্যান্ড সো আওয়ার উইল বাবল অপশন সি So question number six, which of the following fractions is greater than 3 by 4 and less than 5 by 6? Here options are given and again using that trick of comparison, we will get first to which one or which are the fractions greater than this 3 by 4 among these and then we will get which one is less than 5 by 6. Now I am comparing with 3 by 4, half 3 by 4. Then 2 by 3, 3 by 4, 4 by 5, 3 by 4, 9 by 10, 3 by 4, 4 ones are 4, 3 twos are 6. So this one is greater than this, 4 twos are 8, 3 threes are 9, this one is greater than this one, 4 fours are 16, 5 threes are 15, this one is greater than this, 4 nines are 36, 10 threes are 30, this one is greater than this. So we have found these um, um, greater fractions are these these two fractions are 4 by 5 and 9 by 10 two fractions are greater than 3 by 4 now we'll get which one is less than 5 by 6 between these two so i'm writing 4 by 5 and 9 by 10 the fractions which are greater than 3 by 4 and 5 by 6 now i'm comparing with 5 by 6 here 6 fours are 24 5 fives are 25 6 9 sir 54 10 5 sir 50 now you see which one is less than 5 by 6 obviously this one is less than 5 by 6 because this one is greater than that means 4 by 5 
is less than 5 by 6 so 4 by 5 is greater than your 3 by 4 so 4 by 5 is the answer so we will bubble this option C so question number 7 617 plus 6.017 plus 0.617 plus 6.0017 so this one is pretty simple we will just put all the uh, decimal points on a line okay so first one is only whole part is there so i'm putting here next one is 6.017 this one is 0 0.617 this one is 6.0017 now i'm ready and 7 1 5 5 this one is 1 2 3 this one is our 6 this one is our point this one is 199 1 2 this one is 6 so what has come out 629.657 will be B and will bubble answer option B okay question number 8 0 0.002 into 0 0.5 is equal to these four options are given so we will multiply 5 with 2 this is 10 and now here 1 2 3 4 4 decimal places are there so 1 2 3 4 we will put decimal here and as 0 is not counted when it is the rightmost part after decimal point so uh, this option is 0 0.001 means A is the our option is the answer okay question number 9 which of the following is equal to 3.14 into 10 to the power 6 okay i'm writing here 3.14 into 10 to the power 6 in the options you see here uh, decimal point is not there so i'm first i'm removing this decimal point and for that i'm multiplying with 10 square by keeping separating this 10 square from 10 to the power 4 so now it becomes 314 into 10 to the power 4 which is equal to we know 314 and 10 to the power 4 means four zeros are there so our answer will be c got it so question number 10 and this will be the last question of our today's mcq session how many digits will be there to the right of the decimal point in the product of 95.75 and 0 0.02554 okay four options are given but uh, this is um, a mind game question or we may say a tricky question because we won't have to do the sum here you see total decimal places are how many decimal places are one two three four five six seven decimal places are there and uh, but this is the trick behind the question you see rightmost uh, digit is four fives are twenty zero so at the right side of a decimal point we know which is not followed by a natural number we can't count that zero so ultimately the digits number of digits to the right significant digits to the right of the decimal point is six not seven okay six so b is the answer now i'm leaving one question here for you please answer in my comment box along with the time you required and the method you used yes shortcut method or the usual method which one is convenient and time saving for you so see you in my next video till then take care bye bye which of the following fraction is arranged in ascending order of their value.